Hello everybody and welcome to Dice Tower Cruise 2017. I'm actually here at the Ramada Airport Cruise Port. As you see, Grand Ballroom behind me. I'm going to be going upstairs and we are going to be having a pre-party. So I'm going to go check it out now. We'll see what's going on. Um, it's early so I don't know how many people are here yet. But we'll have a better idea shortly. And we're just looking forward to seeing everyone. Having a great time on the cruise. And I can tell you this. This one's going to be even bigger and better than the one we did last year. And you'll get to see it all on my vlog for Dice Tower Cruise 2017. It's going to be awesome. Yes, it is. I'm going to play games. So this is our publisher kickoff party, as we're calling it. As you can see, we have so far a pretty decently full room. Um, no, we're not having a wedding, even though it looks like it could be a wedding. Um, but we do have the ballroom at, at the Ramada, like I told you. And we have games out, we have things going on, and it's going to be pretty exciting. Um, let me go see which publishers are already here and see what they're going to be doing for the cruise. Well, I found one of our publishers. Uh, how are you enjoying this? Boundaries. The Hi, Jason. The Thank you for the off party. joining us. <laughs> thank you for joining us here at this thing again. Trying to yes, well, thank you for joining us for the first time on this. Are you excited about the Very cruise? excited to be here on the Dice Tower Cruise. Yes, you're playing the Fast Forward series, which is awesome. We are playing Fear, number one in the Fast Forward series. It's and we'll be playing it faster if you weren't annoying us with the video. <laughs> You'll probably see a lot of me during the cruise, so don't worry oh, yeah. about it. Yeah, can't wait. <laughs> so Let me go see what other publishers are here now. <laughs> the rest of them aren't here yet. It's only a couple of years. <laughs> Alright, see you guys later. Yes. More later. Not from Jason. Well, I found Marie from Lone Shark Games, who's already here. Hello. And are you excited I'm about the cruise? I'm already here. I delivered the most important cargo. I know. You don't delivered... tell Tom I said that. It, I it, delivered Eric. I know, I, and I don't see him for some reason. He's I'll find playing, him. He's playing a game that has something to do with women in the kitchen or something. Ah, I'll find girls him. Girls in the kitchen or kitchen Bugs girls. Bugs in the kitchen. No, it's kitchen and women. Is in the oh, really? No, wait, maybe not. No, I made that up. <laughs> I totally made that up. So you're, you're going to be having showing off Apocrypha on the ship right here? And uh, some other stuff, maybe? Jason, way to throw me under the bus. No, I'm here on vacation. I will have some copies available. I'm the world's worst demoer. You don't want me to demo a game. It's terrible. But I will play with anybody who wants to play with me. Awesome, awesome. We're looking forward to having you. And I do have a couple of prototypes, too. Um, and I'd be happy to put those out. But again, worst demoer in the world right I know. Here. You have, I heard you have the Thornwatch promo. I just interviewed Mike about that recently. That's, yeah, I have Thornwatch, I have the Ninth World, I even have our uh, not even really talked about much party game called Sausage Party. It's a game about grilling sausages. <laughs> Serious business. It's about grilling sausages. Excellent. Well, I found the precious cargo. If you... Oh, hi! How's it going? Good. We are terrible at making food. We really are. You? are. Really bad. Oh, are you playing Kitchen Rush? We're trying to. We're, we're playing Kitchen Rush badly. Don't worry. We were just as bad at making food. That's comforting. So, I mean, a little comforting. It's not that comforting. It, it was Tom doing the ordering of the ingredients that killed us. So, so far, so good. We managed to pay our staff. We did um, our staff, actually, and we have enough money to shop for some more ingredients. Yay! I don't know if did, you, did we actually, we get a, a bonus, too, don't we? I don't we know. Get Kitchen one of Rush, cards. for those who didn't know, is real-time game, and it's absolutely insane <laughs> time to do the orders. So, Eric, did you know that Marie Poole had said that she delivered the most precious cargo of the ship? Oh, that's nice. That's really kind of her to say. But she's probably talking about Stephanie. <laughs> yes. If you didn't know, this is Mrs. Eric. <laughs> Mrs. Eric. I'm sure she'll love that. <laughs> and I found Kristen Looney, and I just got to play their newest game, Get the MacGuffin. It's not out yet, but this game is a lot of fun. It's really incredible. And you're doing <laughs> another experiment this year on the cruise. I am. I am. We're doing two, actually. Um, we have two questions. We have two little score sheets here. In fact, I'm going to need your initials here. Because um, you just played Get the MacGuffin with me. And I'm going to try to play 
this game with as many people on the Dice Tower cruise as I possibly can over the course of the next five days. And everybody that plays with me will initial one of these little squares. Um, and so I can go up to 524, and I think there's 506 of us or something like that on board. So we'll see how I do. Check in with me throughout the week. Don't forget Zendo. Oh, and sorry, sorry, Zendo. sorry. She's playing Zendo. <laughs> do you have Zendo? So um, I'm Lori, and, and I work for Kristen, and I am going to be... Uh, I do have Zendo. It's still Zendo's in, another great game. It's, still in it's an box, amazing but, game. Uh, there it is. So um, she's doing the same thing. Everybody she plays Zendo with, she's going to get initials to see how many people on the cruise. She's not going to get anywhere near this number because <laughs> my game is like 2 to 11 players and takes like 5 or 10 minutes to play. Her game I'm is totally gonna win. 5, 6, yeah. players. I'm going to win. I've got it. Well, let me be the first one <laughs> please, to sign and get the MacGuffin please. here. Just and here we are. I'm going to initial right here. There we go. Thank with you. my middle initial in there. Boom. Adrian, Tomorrow I'll give you a you. sticker for your badge so that I know that I've played with you. <laughs> uh, that way I'll be able to tell who hasn't played yet. Oh, you so know. We just did a blog people to play, here. Right? <laughs> yes. No, this is great. Uh, you, you guys always right. do such fun things for us, so we're Thank excited. You. And Zev from WizKids has just got a hug from Suzanne here. This hey, is like, what's up? Did he call you Seth? Zev. No, you don't. Zev. Um, so, how do you like this so far, Zev? Oh, this is a very exciting. Uh, fantastic. Have you, you been can on a feel the energy. Before? No, I have not, actually. So, this first is your time. first? Very first time. Are you, what are you looking forward to the most? Uh, just hanging out, playing games, and enjoying, enjoying the ocean. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, everything, I think. I've always heard so many things about cruises, so it's going to be very interesting to see how they pan out. It's going to be a great time. Thank you for coming. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks for having me. And here's Suzanne, who was just giving out hugs to Zev, and, and I mean it's Zev. Um, are you excited? You're I'm very excited. I'm also very tired. I literally got off a plane like 45 minutes ago, so I'm excited, but... Yeah, you, you had know. to fly all the way from Seattle yeah. to get here. Yeah, five and a half hours. It's I know. super fun. I know, and uh, you're, you were the second precious cargo that Marie picked up. Uh, thank you. What was the first? Eric was the first precious uh, cargo. Gotcha. Well, you, then what is Mandy? Mandy's part of the precious cargo. I'll, I'll go see okay. how she feels now. All right, you go call Mandy precious, and let's see how that goes. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna play okay, I found time. the rest of the precious cargo. <laughs> really? Uh, yes. Um, Maria has told me that she picked up all of our precious cargo. First it was Eric, yes. then it was you and, and Suzanne. I literally don't know. Yes, we literally, well, Suzanne's probably already said that. We literally just got off the plane, so excited and tired. It matters. All together. I know, is this your first cruise or have you been before? No, this is my first cruise, so I'm a little nervous but excited at the same time. It, it's going to be amazing. We're going to have the best times. Absolutely. All the games. Jason, what are, what are we playing again? Um, as, as soon as possible. We'll figure something out something, tonight. Something heavy and good. Yes. Gaia Project. Okay, I haven't played that yet, so that's something we can try. Well, I see Pitch Car, which could only mean one thing. I found him. Is this like a Where's Wallow scenario? Yes, it is. And look, he's got that... <laughs> Not the Red Hat this time. It's now the. Oh, the today's not Red Hat Day. That's Sunday. Hat. Sunday is Red Hat Day. Are you excited? I am very excited. I meant about the Pitch Card World Championship. I'm excited about everything. Uh, the whole cruise is going to be amazing, and this is a great start to it. So we already have a ton of people here, and yeah, hope, hopefully we don't get too many more people. There's not going to be enough room for everybody. No, we have a second ballroom. We're good. All right. We've got overflow area, and it's going to be great. I'm really looking forward to it. So Anne's here, and she just brought me a gift. Um, this is really cool. I didn't even know there's a satellite called the Jason, as you can see. Thank you so much. This is really cool. And tell us what you do that you're in that you that you found this. I work at the Jim Bush Laboratory in Pasadena, California. Which is awesome. That's like like cool and high tech and really awesome. Yeah, I'm not a scientist or anything. Uh, just uh, in the IT department, a lot of things. Uh, there are electronic libraries and there are uh, ontologies and taxonomies and information science. Well, I'm going to be looking for OSTM Jason 2. I'm going to try to track this satellite because I guess I have a satellite named after me that I didn't even know. Okay, I found Josh. Everyone knows him from Chat Games. We see him all the time. You, Hi. Finally, you finally made it late to the party. Yes. 
Um, are you excited? We have the super giant code names on the ship. Yes, we do. So I am excited. I know. It's like super giant and awesome. Come on. And look who's over here. Um, Stefan from Yellow's late, so Cam from Yellow's here instead. Um, Stefan didn't make the party, but we will see him tomorrow on the ship. Cam, we Cam hope. just speak in French. Yeah, right. I wish. Wee, wee, wee. Wee, wee. wee. Um, so, so tell me, how late is Stefan's flight? I hear he's like delayed a couple hours. No, no, he should be in by now. It's 11 11. So. He definitely should be touching down by now. Okay, then he should be coming to this party. It's not over yet. No, I mean, at the airport. <laughs> he's still got to get his bag and all that stuff, so... No, we're... Yeah, but we're, he definitely will be on the boat tomorrow. We're very excited. We heard that you guys are doing a um, King of Tokyo tournament where the winner is going to get passes to Origins 2018, which is really awesome that you guys do something like that. That's above my pay grade, but if that's the case, then hey, that's awesome. Also, we'll see them at Origins. Jason. Well, good morning. Look, we've got everyone here in the in the wee early hours of the morning. Jason, why are you not helping Pat? <laughs> <laughs> With Tom not here, I've got Eric mocking me. Oh gosh. So, um, we're packing my car. We're packing everything up, and we're heading to the port. We're gonna get a little quick food. What time is it, Eric? Like it's uh, six forty-five. We're late. Six forty-five in the morning, and we're getting ready to go to the port, and then we're gonna. Um, Excuse me. <laughs> we're gonna enjoy our trip. Here we are, and we're getting on. Eric's here, Eric's not here. We've had some bad news, Eric. Tell us what happened to Stephanie, oh your wife. Goodness. So we were opening boxes uh, for all the, the swag and stuff, and my wife sliced her hand with a box cutter. And so she's not even on the ship. She had to go to the emergency room, and she should be back in time. I'm really hoping she's we, back in time. We're hoping she Otherwise, makes it here. I have to jump off the ship and stay with her. Um, we should be okay, and I'm hoping to see her soon. She's got about four hours, because we leave at 3.30. So. These are the sacrifices that we've made for you here. Yes, these are the sacrifices. And Tom, are you super excited at this point? Well, here we are in the registration room. As you can see, um, Tom's here getting ready. We're sorting the badges. Now, do you feel excited, Tom, now that we're set up? No, we're not done with this yet. But here's all the badges. They said they had mine. Can I grab mine quickly? Uh, I gave it to Jason. No idea where it You didn't give it to me. No, I gave it to Kenny. Okay, Kenny has my badge, but as you can see, we're upstairs. This is the labyrinth. Here, Tony from Arcane Wonders is here. Hi, how's it going? Say hi to everyone. One of our great sponsors of this event. Who also does the Dice Tower Central stuff. And I'm going to go downstairs and see what's going on. So let's take a walk down. This is how people will come in. They will come in through the top. They will come down here. When they make it down here, they will see Kenny who has my badge. I need it. And then they will see an area here. As you can see, we have the Dice Tower set up. We have... They will get their shirts first over here. They will come, they will get a copy of Flux Dice. They will get an Apocrypha box, Royals. They will get a super bag of stuff. I don't even know what's in this. Do you guys even know how much stuff is in here? I see New Dawn, I see Speechless, I see Sticky bag. Chameleons, Robits. I see a ton of stuff. This is more than you could imagine. Arena of the Gods. And then they finally come over here to Josh and they get an app for check games for their apps, which is pretty cool. It's a code to download Galaxy Trucker so everybody can play. We're on Dice Tower Cruise here, and we're going to be the joke interviewing Jason Levine. Okay, all I have to say is, I missed the cake. I missed this cake. I'm eating the cake now, but I totally missed it. I was so excited. I ordered these awesome Dice Tower Cruise cakes, and... Were you eating off of someone else's plate? No, this is mine, but Tom videoed it. I didn't even get to see the cake. I only see it in the video. I'm, But it was awesome. It was so awesome. And I'm glad everyone noticed that we're complaining about having cake and eating it. Yes. You you don't you can't have your cake it. and eat it too, right? I wanted to see it before it was cut. Yeah. You, you can have the cake, you can eat the cake, you just couldn't see the cake. All Most people are happy are with just the first on two. Deck four and deck five. All right, well, we'll head off to our muster call now. Well, I made it. Z's here. We're doing the muster drill again. Um, have you learned it from last year's life pool drill? If you get to the mustard grill, you're probably pretty screwed. <laughs> That's what I learned. Well, Eric's here too, who's oh, no, hiding. Hi. Yes, hello. And 
we have some special guests here oh, now. Man. Yeah. She, she, did, she doesn't it. want to be on camera, she but it. she she Let saw the Let us see what ship. happened. Let us yeah. see what happened here. Yeah. So stitches. This was when we were when we were cutting open the boxes for all those goodie bags. Stitches sent to an emergency room. Made it back in time. Thankfully, with about forty five minutes to spare. But yeah, forty five minutes to spare. But everything is good. And Eric, you're feeling better because your wife's here. Yes, the stress level has gone down significantly. So now we can have a vacation. As long as you don't get camera stuck in your face all the time. Right, yeah. Somebody maybe. Camera stuck in the face, that's going to happen this whole time, and they know it. Z knows it. Well, we're just taking off, and uh, I'm going to get some pictures here as we go out. You'll be able to see as we take off from the pier. So here we are, leaving the edge of Fort Lauderdale, about to head into the open ocean. Look at that beach. It is just gorgeous out here. Lauderdale, the Venice of America. <laughs> okay, so um, you guys know how we have that. We always talk about cool board game cafes. Well, Mac and Chess, the one that makes the most amazing macaroni and cheese and the most amazing oh. <laughs> pork, the most amazing pulled pork. Um, these are the guys. Mike is the owner of, of the Mac and Chess, and it is the most amazing game store board game cafe ever. Oh, thanks, Jason. That's very no, kind of you. I'm telling say. you, like, People who come to Miami need to go there because it's so amazing. Thank you, thank you. We pride ourselves on the food, that's for sure. <laughs> I told him to smuggle some mac and cheese on the ship. <laughs> what happened when you tried that? No, nah, we, we, we got stopped at the, uh, uh, at, at the uh, coming in with the mac and cheese. They stole it all. They ate it. <laughs> what? Okay, so Joel contacted us out of the blue. Out of the blue. And said, we want to do... BGG names, just because people talk a lot of that. I mean, you're one of our more active posters on the BGG forum. Yeah, I don't have much of another life. And so. so he actually made little stickers. You see there, liars eggs. And look, I, you know, you guys probably know I don't have an avatar, but now I'm the gaming machine. You might have to actually make me a real avatar that I can I put will on make my. make you a real avatar. So yeah. I'm gonna have this as a real avatar on board game. In, in case you didn't know who, <laughs> here you go. There's Joel. In case you didn't know who he was. So if you look for him on Board Game Geek, that's who you look for, and you know, it, it's great, you know, because a lot of people communicate through Board Game Geek, and it's great to know who they are. Yes. Yeah, that was one of the things that came up after the cruise. We were talking with each other on Board Game Geek, and it was like, oh, you were there. I didn't even notice. And so this was just another way of connecting. No, it's great. I mean... We have a great community and we're having a great time. Even more people this year. I'm very excited. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's cool. And look at the game room. We have Players Wanted, Library Notes. We have a decently full room. Let's see how everything's going. It looks pretty jam packed. John Breyer, one of our locals, is here teaching oh, games. What's up? Um, what are you teaching now, Noria? Noria. Um, this one looks really cool. It's got the little spindles for the actions and it's, it's really awesome. Um, every game is awesome, Jason. Every game, I know every game is awesome. <laughs> so, this is dinner time. We're having an amazing meal here. I just had prime rib, as you can see. And I'm with my amazing friend from Arcane Wonders, Brian Pope. Hello. Now, you're having a special dinner with your family. You're playing Las Vegas you're, with your son and your daughter. I mean, look at this. At what other place, what other cruise can you be playing Las Vegas in the middle of the table? This is just amazing. Are you having fun so far? Yeah, I love it. And why wouldn't you play a game? I mean, come on, we're in the Dice Tower, Cruise Con. Of course we're going to play games at dinner and continuously throughout the day, any chance we get. Exactly. Everything's been delicious. We got a little bit of food on the dice, but that's okay. And a little bit of dice on the food, and that's okay, as long as you don't swallow the dice. Exactly, it's all good. Everything is good. <laughs> Well, it's five minutes to our game show, and I'm guessing this room is packed. Let's see how packed it is. Oh, and by the way, there's our Dice Terror Cruise banner, and let's see how packed this show is. It looks pretty packed, so we're pretty excited. I think we have a good crowd, and let's uh, see what's going on. Well, we think this show is going to be better than any other show in the past. What do you think, Eric? No input is detected. Um, tell me about what you think about fast food restaurants. No input is detected. All right, I think Starbucks is a fast food restaurant. It is. For those of you who don't know, 
somehow Tom puts Starbucks in answer to fast food. It technically is a fast food, it is a quick service restaurant. That's not fast food. That is the definition of fast food. Quick service it's is the same thing. It's fast drink, it's not fast food. They serve food. They serve muffins and scones. Not very fast when you order that. You order that, it takes 10 minutes. You can pick it up from a little refrigerator case. Oatmeal, they serve food. That sounds like a quickly convenience store to me. Fast food. It appears on the industry list. How can you argue with data? I can't. It's just numbers. Yes, it is. Oh! The forex that we didn't give it to. Um, just to make sure that I'm not absolutely crazy here. Here is Jason, hard at work. <laughs> making sure that call customers are satisfied. Yes, I'm trying to make sure everyone's got the right shirt size and it's been a little crazy. And here's Kenny. And here's our library person, Heather Mann. Hi. And for those curious, it's me. Hope you folks are enjoying watching this. And here is the library. What time is it? It is 10.33 and we have a full house. Well, here I am. It's like one in the morning, and yes, I'm tired. And you guys are probably wondering why I didn't get to bed because everyone's told me this. But here's the um, conference room still popping at this hour, and no, it's not full, but it's it's still a good amount of people. So it's pretty exciting, you know. One in the morning, and this place is hopping, and we love what we're doing here, and. It's a good thing, Sutton. The there you go. I'm getting shout outs. Let, let, let's see what Vernon has to say. I've been talking about, like, you guys, your late night gaming here. Look at this. Oh. This place is still hopping at this hour. Oh, it's it is. Poppin'. Well, I don't know it's about poppin'. hopping, but it's popping off. It's popping off. It's, it's popping. Yeah. We were just playing Ethnos. Oh, yeah. So, this, for you guys, this is my game group. You guys know. John Breyer, you guys don't know too much, but he's in my game group. And yeah, Vernon and Yo. Nina, who Yo. you guys have seen. Yes. And people know this me. Is, okay, people know John <laughs> also. Um, so anyway, I got a question for you guys. Yes. What do you? This is your first cruise. Um, first cruise, cruise, I think as first well. First dice tower cruise. Yes. First um, dice tower cruise. Yes. It's really, it's getting dicey in here. How are you guys enjoying it? Love it. It is it's awesome. awesome. Love it. Awesome. On, a, on a scale from one to Jason, it is a Jason. <laughs> <laughs> so I heard about this. You guys have been playing TI4 here. How, how long have you been playing this tonight? Well, we started about seven. Yeah. yeah. Seven. And how close are you guys in points to victory? I'm nowhere because I have been eliminated. You've been eliminated, and where are you? I don't see anyone near the end of the of that victory no. point I filled chart. in for somebody else, so halfway. I'm still halfway. Yes. And you guys are going to go the whole night on this one? Well, I found Rob and Rob behind me. Rob the reviewer and Rob the webmaster. Um, hey guys. I'm it's calling late. you Rob and Rob now. I mean, no, I could call Rob you Ro Robert. I could call you Robert and Robert. Rob and Robert. Rob and Robert. So which one is, do you, you guys don't want to be Rob and you don't both want to be Robert? You want to be kind of a co? No, he wants to be Rob no, and I'm just Robert. Rob, man. Not, not the formal, just Rob. He likes Rob and I like only do Robert. And definitely not Bob. Anyway. I, how are you guys like it? You guys are here in the library. Has it been pretty busy all night? It's been today's been very busy. Probably one of the most busiest days I, I would assume in the week. No. It's what? It's two o'clock. In five minutes, and we still got. Yeah. Two o'clock in the morning. Yeah. I know, and it's like this place. I said this place is hopping still. It's like. All the bars are closed down, all the nightclubs are closed down, and we're still going. We're like, we're the life of this ship this week. And at 24-7, we're not going to stop. It'll be all night. All night gaming with Robert and Rob? <laughs> there we go. Well, it's the end of the night. As you can see, it's Christmas time here, or well, whatever, here. And uh, they're um, 
they decorated the ship very nicely as you can see out the window. Enjoy more of my blogging when I come back tomorrow with even more stuff and showing you what's going on. You'll see it all soon. And good night from the independence of the seas.